In this video, we will learn how to create a product and associate plans to it in Zoho Billing. Let's say you offer product management software services to your customers. You can create various plans like standard, premium and enterprise, each structured with the pricing based on the features included. Your customers can choose the plan that best suits their needs and upon subscribing it, they will have access to all the features associated with that specific plan. In this video, we will cover the following topics. Let's create a product. To do so, log into your Zoho Billing account, go to Product Catalog and click Subscription Items. Click Plus New to add a new product. Enter your product name. Add description about your product if required. Enter the email address through which notifications related to this product will be sent. You can add commas to separate multiple email addresses. Provide the URL to which you would like your customers to be directed after they have completed the payment process using the hosted payment page. You can also insert placeholders to your URL by clicking here. Check the box if you want to auto-generate product numbers. Enter the prefix and the next number and click save. You have successfully created a product. After creating a product, you can associate various plans, add-ons and coupons to it. Let's see how to associate plans for your product. Click the add plan button. Enter the plan name, the plan code, the unit name, the price of the plan. In the bill every field, Enter how often you want to charge your customers for this plan. If you want the plan to expire only when it gets cancelled by you or your customer, select the option Auto Renews until cancelled. Or if you want the plan to expire after a specific number of billing cycles, you can choose this option and specify the number of times your customers should be billed. You can choose to offer free trial for any number of days. If you want the customer to get charged initially, you can enter the setup fee amount. Select the type of your plan, add description if required. Check this box if you want to include this plan in your pricing widget. Check this box if you wish to allow your customers to switch to this plan from their existing plan from the customer portal. You can add features of the plan here. They will be displayed in the pricing widget. On clicking more fields, you can select the plan and set up free accounts to track the revenue made through them by integrating with Zoho Books, an online accounting software. Then, click Save. That's it, you have successfully created a plan. Similarly, you can add multiple plans for your product or service. If you want to migrate your plans from some other software to Zoho Billing, you can click the more icon here and click import plans. Choose the file you want to import. Please note that you can import your file only in CSV, PSV or XLS format. You can also download a sample file for your reference. Select the character encoding based on your import file. By default, UTF-8 Unicode is selected. Choose the appropriate file delimiter and click next. You will be directed to the Map Fields page. Here, the field names of Zoho Billing are listed on the left side and the field names in the import file are listed on the right side. Match the field names and check this box if you wish to use the same mapping of fields during future imports. Then, click Next. You will be directed to the preview page where the number of plans to be imported, skipped and unmapped will be listed. Then, click Import. Now, the plans in the import file will be imported into the Subscription Items module of Zoho Billing. Similarly, you can also export your plans from Zoho Billing by clicking Export Plans. You can also upload images for your plan, edit, mark it inactive or delete the plan. Let's look at some of the functions that can be carried out in the product. You can edit, add plans and add-ons to your product. On clicking the more icon, you can add coupons, associate different email templates to your product, 
embed widget, mark the product inactive or delete it permanently. You can also import or export them by clicking here. And that's a wrap for our video. If you have any queries, please write to us at support at the rate zohobilling.com. Thanks for watching.